what's up it is the kind of end of the late afternoon time and I'm headed out to run some errands I just came from the bank uh, and I went there because I needed to get some uh, other forms notarized FYI the banks banks typically have notary services and uh, so that's what I was doing and I had another run-in with a bossy bossy adult older adult remember I told you guys I had that run-in uh, at the box with the older gentleman who was uh, really really adamant that he wanted to help me so my situation was this I get to the bank and for the notary service or to see the bank to see a banker you put your name on a list and put the time of arrival so I got there and there were I don't know maybe three or four names in front of me and then I take a seat and there you can visibly see the two bankers and the banker was with one customer. The customer left the banker's little uh, cubicle. And the man sitting in the waiting room next to me, the little waiting area, he begins to, you know, boss me around and tell me, you need to go to, you need to uh, go to her now. He, she's available and you need to go to her because I want to go to the other one because the other one knows my, my story and I don't want to go to that one. And I was like, uh, okay, um, I think I don't think I'm next in line. I am really a stickler for being not cutting in front of line, not cutting in front of the line, not cutting the line. <laughs> uh, you know, queue up, take your place in line, and wait patiently. That's what you're supposed to do. And you don't want to piss somebody off who's been waiting. That's just rude. And not to mention, I didn't want to jump in on the banker, jump into their cubicle prematurely because they may have been tying up the ends of whatever their prior, you know, transaction was with that prior customer. It wouldn't have been appropriate, you know. It's kind of like jumping in on your on on a waiter, ju jumping in on a table at a restaurant that hasn't been bust or cleaned up yet. It kind of throws throws everybody off, and they're they're still you know preparing the table, and they haven't actually chosen to seat you there and you know you kind of you kind of overthrow the overthrow the the course so I was you know I said oh you know I, I understand your concern but I don't I don't think I'm next in line and so uh you know I'll just wait to be called <laughs> and he was getting livid with me that I wasn't you know following his his code of conduct I was like oh, buddy I mean and he kept saying like you need to go to her just just go ahead and go to her it's like very awkward because while I was not the next one on cue I was the only other person in that little waiting room the other people had you know kind of gone outside or whatever you know I don't know where they were but I was not the next one in line according to that list and I didn't want to piss somebody off um, you know I was just following rules like you're supposed to and uh, yeah he was annoyed at me but suffice it to say I mean it worked out I ended up going to the banker that he wanted me to go to and uh, she helped me very, you know, efficiently. She's very friendly, uh, and no fee, by the way. That it's a if you're if you need a notary. Um, so yeah, long story short, had a good, fast, expeditious experience, but that customer was annoying. Anyway, speaking of annoying, um, my mom, my mom and I watch Netflix. Uh, at her when I'm at her apartment on her TV I don't have a TV I watch uh, YouTube and TV and things like that I stream them on my iPad and one thing that is annoying is I cannot hear my Netflix I cannot hear Netflix through the app on on my iPad and at first I thought it was something to do with the fact that I have a, an iPad mini and it's old and I was like well maybe you know the audio is just not there and then I was like well, wait a minute I can hear just fine with Amazon Prime and I can hear just fine with with YouTube I never have a problem with that but the audio is really problematic on Netflix on the iPad and you know I went googling the interwebs of this and apparently I'm not the only one who has this issue the app is just terrible so comment below those of you who watch Netflix do you have this experience where you the audio and it's not just that the audio is is low and that you can't hear it's it's conversations that are specifically muffled the conversation that the the, um, the dialogue in the movie or TV show that you're watching. I mean, what you actually want to hear is muffled and the background noises are actually amplified. It's rather, it's rather bizarre. On my mom's TV, that's not the case. Um, 
So yeah, a little Netflix, Netflix. <clears throat> Um, I remember last year this time I canceled Netflix, but I reinstated it to watch uh, like the crown, not the crown. What was that we were watching on there? Downton Abbey? I can't remember. No. Uh, yeah, the crown. The crown we were watching on Netflix. And uh, so since reinstating it for that, I've kind of gotten sucked back in. And OMG, Netflix has got some pretty good movies. My mom and I watched this movie. Um, Sierra Burgess is a loser. It was really, it was really cute. Um, kind of one of those teen angst type movies. Uh, apparently the actress who was in it is in that show Stranger Things, which I never watched, um, but was supposed to be good. So yeah, that's a good, that was a good movie. I can't remember what else we watched on there that was really good. Um, but Netflix has got some pretty good movies at, lately. Um, I've been impressed. There's one movie that we watched, I can't remember the name of it, and it was not good at all, but for some reason we could not stop watching it. We're like, this movie is terrible, but for some reason we're sucked in. And it had Clor, uh, Clor, Clor, I have a trouble with her name, Florence, Clor, Florence, Le Florence, I want to call her Florence Leachman, but that's not right. That, that actress, she was in it, and some other people who I didn't know, and it was a very bizarre movie about, uh, like, taking her just to, to spread her... Um, bury her dog and she had this she had she had stuffed her deceased dog and she was carrying it around with her so it was a little unsettling but yeah the dialogue in that was terrible um, and the plot was bizarre I don't recommend that and I can't even remember the title to, to warn you of or or the, the proper name of the actress Lord. Um, what else um, so I'm running to Costco to the grocery store and what have you I'm a little apprehensive that I won't be able to share a grocery haul with you guys because I am having some work done in my apartment today. Uh, I haven't been having an, uh, I had an acute issue uh, in my bathroom with the plumbing. And I have to say two thumbs up for my apartment maintenance team. I mean, they have been on that. They got in touch with a plumber, put a bid in, and the plumber is there. And apparently they have to, they have to knock down my bathroom wall to get to the pipe system and pull out the tiles. So that is rather a loud endeavor. I really appreciate though that they gave me notice as to when the plumber was going to arrive and the plumber arrived exactly as predicted and that, that this was going to be occurring today because um, you know, I, when I film videos, that would, not, that would not be ideal. Fortunately, this coincided with grocery day, but if the banging and rattling is still going on when we get home, I might not be able to, <laughs> to show you guys my grocery haul. Oh, I've got, check out this new bracelet that I got for Christmas. It's um, a uh, Alex and Ani bracelet with this beautiful pineapple and it matches my Ana Luisa. I'm just so, so bling bling. <laughs> I love my jewelry, but this I just love. I've always wanted one of these uh, Alex and Ani bracelets. The um, material is copper, I believe, and it's really cute. And I love the pineapple. I mentioned in my lifestyle, oops, in my lifestyle favorites video that my pineapple earrings. Uh, first of all, the back of one of my pineapple earrings fell off, and then I had this uh, kind of cheapy backup back for the, the earring, and I eventually, lo unfortunately, lost one of the pineapple studs, and then the necklace itself uh, broke. So yeah, my pineapple jewelry has been out of commission, but now I got the new pineapple bling bling. Um, so yeah, love my pina jewelry. Um, I'm... All right, let's see if El Dad Crown is here. It is a bright, bright, bright. It's a sunshiny day. I can see clearly now. The rain is gone. I can see all obstacles in my way. We had a hellacious rainstorm the other day. There was quite a bit of flooding in some areas. But the morning after it occurred, I walked past my um, past my pool. And I looked outside, the pool furniture was in the pool from all of the winds and, and torrential rain. Like a third of the pool for, 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 a third of the pool furniture had managed to 
to uh, flip itself into the pool. But how dangerous is that? Flying, flying lawn chairs and what have you? I'm glad I was not. I thought I was not out there. I was safely tucked in my in my bed, sound asleep. So many things to be grateful for, you know? I mean, we have natural disasters, uh, but I have the safety of uh, four walls and a roof over my head. That is a blessing. Speaking of blessing, I'm here in the land of abundance. Costco. Well, hey guys, I'm taking care of my all-time favorite adult task, and that is a little car doodle. Just filled up my tank. That is one of the uh, great things about Texas. It is cheap to fill up your car here. Price of gas is very, very cheap. Um, I'm doing one of these uh, cheapy drive through car washes that are probably a bad idea. Uh, but whatever, I live on the edge. Fun fact though, I really enjoy washing cars. I, I'm i kind of compulsive about it. Like I love those places where, it used to be you put coins in, but now I think you pay with your credit card. And you do it yourself, and you can, uh, and you can uh, vacuum the car out. Oh, I love doing that. You know, most women want to go get their, uh, have a spa pedicure. I love going to the car wash. I'm like, It's fun, you know, put on old clothes and you feel like you're you're doing something. Well, hey guys, I just got back. I'm about to show you my grocery haul, but let me show you my bathroom situation. As I was walking in, the plumbers were just uh, leaving. They were very tidy. Yeah, they had put down like a, a mat here so that they were walking in and out of my apartment without their shoes on the ground. Uh, but take a look at my toilet situation. Oh my goodness. Uh, so this is actually a good thing. They fixed it. Um, basically what happened, it wasn't a problem with the toilet itself. The toilet is fully functional and, and fine. The toilet, however, the pipe that goes into the ground uh, was put into the foundation in such a way that it was slightly off at an angle. And for whatever reason, because of that, it was coming up out of the wall uh, slightly bent and the toilet itself was not actually over the pipe. And so what was happening is that there's basically, there's basically a kink tilted um, uh, exit, exit, exit from the toilet into the ground. And so what was occurring is that anytime I put toilet paper down the toilet, it would get trapped there. And as a result, uh, I kept having issues where my toilet would, I'd flush the toilet and be fine, but then it would not fill back up with water. And they would have to come, they'd plunge it, uh, and then they figured out that that is what the issue was. So they fixed it actually very quickly. They contacted the plumbers really, really fast, put the bid in really fast, like no questions. They were here, the maintenance team totally knew what was going on. The communication has actually been excellent with this. Um, and then, uh, so basically what they had to do was they had to uh, go down through through the cement. There's like a substantial cement um, foundation that they had to bulldoze through in order to get to this pipe. And so they're coming back tomorrow morning to remedy the tile situation, but the toilet is uh, functional and can be flushed now. So yeah, a little a little toilet melodrama there. <laughs> but I'm glad they were, they were so fast in fixing it. And this has been for me a, a non-issue. I, I have had no problem with it. I have not had to deal with it in any way. And it's just one of those situations where I think to myself, this is why I live in apartments. Granted, you could say if you lived in your own home, you'd have you know some better quality construction on the foundation of your home and this wouldn't happen. But I don't know, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> toilets, toilets go awry all the time, plumbing goes awry. And having to deal with this kind of thing in the work week, it's a nightmare for somebody uh, who's particularly a single person. You don't want to have to deal with that. This is why I continue to live in apartments. This among many other reasons. I don't want to. I don't want to have to deal with stuff like that. Um, and it's great, I didn't have to. Anyways, rambling aside, glad that's fixed. I'll show you guys my grocery haul. 
All right, so not a grocery item, but I got these at Costco. Carol Hawkman, my girl. This is the this is the brand of that robe that I had, um, and my mom got one. They're so soft and warm. Unfortunately, I can only wear it like a few days out of the year here because it's it's still kind of warm out. Believe it or not, we've had some fluxes in temperature. But anyways, Carol Hawkman, that's my girl, and they they've had these socks at Costco and they were on sale today. They were so soft. I wish there was touch of vision. Uh, they, I got the kind of girly pastel colors, the light pink, blue, lavender, and this is kind of a, a tan color. I like these. They also had just simple black and gray, but I decided to go to go bold and get, get the pastel colors. I also got a bag of frozen organic broccoli florets. I really enjoy broccoli, not as much as cauliflower. Um, so I decided to get some of this frozen organic broccoli. And yeah, it comes with, I think, four, four individual one pound bags. So that's handy. I've had this before. It's really, it's really tasty. All right, and then from Costco, I also got more unsweetened almond milk. I'm, I think I've got like two, no, three of these left, but I always like to have a ton of that on stock. And I also got another biggie bag of the fresh and quick spinach. I haven't had celery in a long time. The celery at Costco is really good, this Taylor Farm celery, so I got that. It's pretty inexpensive. Unfortunately, they are out of the Slippery Jack um, mush dried mushroom mix I had been getting at Costco, which really makes me sad. I have some of it left, but they don't have it there anymore, which I hate it when this happens. But I saw these, and I know that they will be a limited time only offering uh, celebrating the year of the pig. These are the premium shiitake mushrooms by Epicurean Specialties. I thought these would be, I imagine, nothing more than delicious. These shiitakes, they looked really good. This wasn't too expensive, believe it or not. It was 10, 10 bucks for 20 servings of these nice shiitake mushrooms. I also got from Kroger radishes, of course, three bags, um, some chayote squash as well. <laughs> look how cute my um, turnips look here. <laughs> They're all lined up like something out of a Cabbage Patch Kid movie. Did they even make Cabbage Patch Kid movies back in the day? I can't remember. Um, fun fact, I did visit the Cabbage Patch Hospital in, uh, in Georgia. <laughs> I got a yellow onion and two things of garlic. I got two heads of cauliflower and I'm much happier with the way the cauliflower is looking these days. It's much, it's much more more uh, voluminous. <laughs> I went ahead and got a spaghetti squash. I enjoy making this in the air fryer and was hoping I'd be able to do that this week. Um, so we will see how that, how that goes. I got ahead of my boy Savoy there. Then Kroger um, gave me a coupon last time I was there, uh, like a little, a little we love you coupon for a free Blue Diamond Almond Breeze half gallon of my choosing. So I went with the almond coconut blend. This is probably my favorite blue diamond almond milk. So if you like the taste of coconut, uh, this, this actually tastes like coconut. This was a trifecta, meaning it was on sale. I had a coupon via Kroger and it is Adelio on Ibotta. And that is, oh yeah, oh yeah, Amazon prunes, family size. I like to put one or two of these in my crock pot meal sometimes, uh, kind of sweeten things. It, it sounds strange, but you'll see that in a lot of uh, Mediterranean cooking, Turkish cooking, they'll cook with dried fruits. And I like taking inspiration from that. Dried apricots are another one that, that sings through in a savory soup. Um, and then I got, this is my favorite dental floss, it's Listerine Cool Mint Mint Floss. It lasts a long time and I really enjoy it. But I had a coupon for this Glide Oral B as well. So I will I will give that a try. Um, these are these are must-haves with my with my produce consumption habit. All right, some updates. This is that Ice Balsam Wonder Cheapy Candlelight Company candle that I got um, after Christmas at Kroger for like next to nothing. And OMG, side note, I, I need to write this down. This is a cheapy candle win, the Ice Balsam Wonder. It is the nicest uh, Christmas tree scent. Uh, if you like the smell of balsam, this is one of, one of the better balsam scents that I, that I have encountered. I really, 
I, I was really taken back by this. Candlelight Company candles, they're not bad. They're just a little cheapy and, you know, are kind of, kind of, kind of hit or miss. This is a hit. Speaking of hits and updates, you guys know I love my Natural Calm, and this is what I was drinking this morning I wanted to share with you guys. I got the Holiday Citrus Spice flavor for Christmas, and I tasted it this morning in my water. That's what I was drinking. It is, it is a win. I'm so glad I had the opportunity to obtain, to, to have this. Um, it is really good. I just finished up the watermelon flavor that I was consuming. The cherry one is, is a really good one, but this, this is, this is extra special. The holiday citrus spice. Definitely going to enjoy that. So yeah, that's everything that I got at Kroger and Costco this week. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog today. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.